here we're looking at solving the equation. Anytime you see the word solve the equation, to solve an equation means to find the unknown variable. So we're trying to figure out what x is equal to, right? So sometimes you'll see um, variable terms will appear on both sides of the equation. Okay, so first of all, let's figure out which terms are variable terms. Okay, we have the 5x, and which other term is the variable term? 3x. Good. Okay, these are the variable terms. And then we have two other terms here. I have a plus 8, and I have a negative 2. You always want to include the sign that's in front of it. These are called our constant terms because it's a number by itself, and we talked about that last week. We want to group the variable terms all on one side of the equation. Now, like I told you before, it doesn't matter if we group them all on the left side, okay, because we have a left side to our equation, and we have a right side to our equation. So it doesn't matter which side I group them on, you just want to have them all on the same side, okay? So let's group them on the left side. On the left side, I already have my 5x term, so I'm going to keep that there. Nothing happens to that. But on the right side, I have a 3x term. I want to get rid of it from the right side. So how would I get rid of the 3x? It's a positive value. It's a positive 3x. I would subtract the whole thing. So I would subtract the 3x, okay? 3x take away. 3x is nothing. I've gotten rid of it. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side, right? Because we have to keep it balanced. So I need to subtract 3x from this side, okay? Now we'll look at our constant terms. I have negative 2 on the right side, okay, I already have this here, that stays where it is, but I have a plus 8 on the left side of the equation, but I want to get rid of the positive 8 from the left side because I only want my variable terms on the left side. So what's the opposite of adding 8? Subtracting what's, 8. Subtracting 8, good. 8 take away 8 is nothing, that's how I remove it. So what do I have to do to the right side of the equation? Take away 8. Take away 8, good. Now that we have all of our terms grouped together, okay, now we have like terms. So I have my two variable terms. These are like terms because they have the same variables and the same exponent, which is just an exponent of 1, right? We don't need that right now. So I have 5x minus 3x. I can subtract 3x from 5x. What's 5 take by 3? 2. Okay, so I have 2x. And then we have negative 2 subtract 8 which is negative 10, okay? And now we still need to know, we wanna know, our goal is to figure out what x is equal to, right? Right now I have two multiplied by x, so two times something. We're always trying to do the opposite operation to undo this, okay? So we have two multiplied by something. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. Good. So I'm going to divide this by 2, divide it by itself, because that will reduce to 1. 1x one is the same as x, right? I've divided 2 on the left side. What do I have to do on the right side? Divide 2. Divide it by 2. Now we have a negative 10 divided by a positive 2. A negative and a positive is a negative. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we have x equals negative 5. So I've solved it, but let's go back and check. Okay, I want you to, okay, so we're going to use our original question, which was 5x plus 8 equals 3x minus 2. We found that x is equal to negative 5, right? This was our solution. We want to verify that that's true. So wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it with negative 5 because that's what we're saying that x should be, right? So 5, 5x five means 5 times, so 5 times negative 5 plus 8 equals 3. Instead of x, we're replacing it with the value of x that we thought it would be, minus 2. Okay, now we're just going to simplify both sides of the equation. So bed mass, what, what goes first? Okay, we have multiplication. What's f a positive times a negative? Negative. Good, so negative 25 plus 8 equals, and then we have a positive 3 times a negative 5 is negative 15 minus 2. We can still simplify this. Negative 25 plus 8 is negative 17. And negative 15 minus 2 is also negative 17. Both sides of the equation are the same, and they should be because there's an equal sign in the middle, so it's balanced. The left side is equal to the right side, 
So therefore, our solution, which was what we had to solve for, is, has to be correct because it balanced the equation. Made with DoodleCast Pro.